announcement is happening right now at the North Carolina Museum of History. We want to get, take you live now to uh, uh, Governor Cooper addressing the audience there at the Museum of History. State officials say Fujifilm Dyerson Biotechnologies intends to add 680 jobs, part of a $1.2 billion expansion in our state. This would be the latest investment in the state by the vaccine maker, which has been undergoing a growth spurt in the triangle over the past couple of years. Uh, back in 2021, there was a groundbreaking for a new facility in the Holly Springs area. Officials say the project is expected to have an economic impact of more than $4 billion. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll hear what Governor Cooper has to say about this major economic investment in our state. All right, big news. Ken Smith uh, reporting live. Thank you. WRL Sean Gallagher joining us now with a little bit more on what this all means for our area. Sean. Yeah, Dan, this company has been in our area for nearly 30 years, but it's really been in the last two to three that they've upped their commitment to growth in the triangle. Fujifilm Diosynth Biotechnologies develops and manufactures vaccines. Today's announcements will add a large-scale cells culture manufacturing facility right here in Holly Springs. That's basically what vaccines are made of, cultured cells. So more of the process will be taking place right here. This morning, security wouldn't let us on the property, but we could see from the road the area is still largely under development. That construction that started here in 2021. And today's announcements will nearly double the number of jobs here and increase the company's total investment by about 60 percent. Now, during a conference call about an hour ago, the Economic Investment Committee said that the new facility that's coming here will be one of the largest of its kind in the entire world. And Fujifilm is just the latest Japanese company to have an influence here. Coming up tonight, we'll look into that a little bit more about why there's so much Japanese business influence here in the triangle. But for now in Holly Springs, Sean Gallagher, WRAL News. All right, Sean, thank you. Uh, so as you were saying, this has been kind of a big week. The news comes ahead of the Japanese prime minister making a historic visit to North Carolina today. Fumio Kishida will be treated to barbecue and southern hospitality, of course, today as he tours some of the biggest Japanese companies in the state. Japan invests more money than any foreign country into North Carolina. Governor Cooper plans to greet him when he arrives at RDU this afternoon.